Well, praise Jesus today, everyone. It's a very, very hot day. It's like 92 degrees here in Virginia. And the funny thing is I'm wearing cargo pants and it's hot out here. And I shouldn't have done that, but oh well, praise Jesus anyway. I um, wanna tell a topic about something, about Jesus' name. His name is above all names. His name makes demons tremble. His name will make people very angry. Some will make people have joy. But the problem is with vain Christians, that name is meaningless to them. That name will will only work for certain times for them, or if not at all. When people use Jesus' name in vain just so that they can get an emotional kick out of it, then that's vain. And what I mean by this is like when they, when they sing, Jesus, you are welcome here, but it, their teachings are apostate and their singing is apostate, then that in itself is vain. And preaching his name in vain and saying his name in vain not like how the world does it where they say where they say Jesus's name and then say Christ in a in a rude manner and sarcastically too I'm not talking about that that's vain as it is what I'm talking about is when they speak his name in vain and they worship his name in vain just so they can get an emotional kick like a like a man going to a prostitute for sexual pleasure or sensual pleasure um these things should be very avoided now there is nothing wrong listening to a true and righteous christian song i do not denounce that what i do denounce and what jesus denounces is when you sing his name in vain or you say what Jesus is, but you only say half of it. This God disfavors and hates. When you say half of what he is, he is displeased. And if you knowingly know what the other half is, and you reject that other half, which is judge, that he is a righteous judge, and that he will throw anyone in hell if they sin willfully or unwilling then they they hate that they will they will ignore that but they will accept the message of Jesus loves you his blood paid for your sins what about the part where Jesus said go and sin no more what about when Jesus said repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. So, I want to ask you this question. Will we continue to speak for Jesus' name in vain? Or are we going to actually follow Jesus and not use his name in vain, but use his name out of true love for others and for him. And I wanna tell a testimony about the how there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, I was in Michigan and around this time, there were, there were very bad family issues going on across state lines while I was on vacation even beforehand and afterhand. Around this time, I was attacked physically by demons. And around this time, um, I was in bed, this was six in the morning, and I thought I heard my grandpa get out of bed. But um, then what I find out was that it wasn't him that I turn as I turn over um, that there is a that there is 
that there's a spirit shoves me in the bed and at that time I didn't know because I was confused I didn't know what I didn't know what it was and I and I physically was pushed in the bed I didn't know what that was and then eventually I told my grandma and grandpa about this and we prayed and then we moved on with our day then two or three in the morning that night going into the next day I was watching videos that I shouldn't have been watching and I um, was watching uh, Disney Plus and around that time I was I don't know if I was listening to music or if I was listening to uh, uh, Christian music I mean but I was I was listening to something and what ended up happening next was a was something very shocking my leg was moving my left le or excuse me my right my right leg was moving and um, around this time I thought to myself oh my gosh this thing's gonna drag me off the bed so I grab with my right hand and um, I grab on the bed sheets and I thought to myself if this demon tries to drag me off the bed then I will um, then I will grab on the bed so I can have a good fight to go against this demon well that didn't turn out very well what ended up happening next was this. I was violently possessed or oppressed. I don't know. My body, my body, my whole body began to shake out of control. My head went back and forth. My eyes were like sealed shut. I was gnashing my teeth. I was violently shaking. And at one point I opened my eyes and I was going to call on the name of Jesus to save me. But my speech was robbed. So in my spirit, I said, Jesus, save me. Save me. And then all of a sudden, the gnashing of teeth stopped. The violent shaking. Everything just stopped. And that demon that oppressed me left. Because I called on the name of Jesus to save me. That night, I was horrified and terrified beyond what I could even imagine. Something like this just does not happen. Now, it doesn't help when you do inappropriate stuff and then stuff like that can happen. Um, I just want to tell you that that night, I was praying the whole night because I was so terrified. And there was a... I, I think I ended up sleeping that night, but then later on, I woke up at 6 in the morning, and then I heard the door close, not my bedroom door, but the other door, and there was a, a no, and then I heard footsteps, and it was my grandpa that woke up, and I said, who's there, and, and he, said, he, said, he said it was me, and I knew it was my grandpa, and I said, hey, can you come here for a second, and then he was standing at the doorway, and I said, no, you need to come here. And I told him all of what happened. And I prayed and he prayed. And I just stayed up in bed for a little bit. Because I was traumatized, guys. Just demonic possession and oppression like that just does not happen to anyone. In the way that it happened with me. I warn anyone who surrounds themselves with... With secular movies, Christian movies that are decorated as that, pornography, um, masturbation, lust, uh, porn, murderous thoughts from TV, radio, from bad friends, from gossip, slander, almost anything that is against the Lord, if you surround yourselves against this, with this stuff, drugs, alcohol, witchcraft, 
demonic practices like Ouija board and uh, I think this card, some card game or something like that. If you involve yourself in this, you are undoubtedly susceptible to demonic oppression and possession. I tell you, repent of this, of any activity, turn to the Lord Jesus and he, and he will tell you what to do. Obviously, you clearly need to be baptized if you have not and be baptized with the Holy Spirit, but you need to repent, go after Jesus and follow after him. Not a church, not a organized church, no Norman, no Baptist, no Calvary, um, Catholic, none of that stuff. Go after Jesus. He is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. And do not let anyone say that Jesus' name is not powerful. His name is not only above all names, but he is the word of God. He is faithful and true. He will save anyone who calls upon his name. His name is the most powerful name and his name is not only above all names but his name has true power more power than a nuclear bomb could ever detonate on this planet or on earth it is more powerful than gravity itself it is more powerful than the bedrock on this earth that we stand it is more powerful than the magnetic field and the magnetic fields and solar flares that come from the sun it is more powerful than the prowls of darkness that are demonic and evil. It is more powerful than the strongest man, or excuse me, his name is more powerful than the strongest man and, or woman on earth. His name is more stronger than the strongest demon or demons that have been released within the past two to three years. Call on the name of Jesus, ask for his bread, ask for his daily drink and bread daily but you must repent you must be baptized in water be filled with the holy spirit i cannot give that power to someone as some may think that is up to you go after jesus and seek him because if you do not seek after jesus he will cut you off like a branch from a lightning strike and you as the branch will be burned with unquenchable fire. Seek Jesus now while there is still time before it is forever too late for you. May Jesus bless your day and night.